All right, hey there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can um, employ something called a standing plank variation into your, uh, your strength and uh, movement practice of your own. So standing plank is great because it's going to, uh, well here, let me put it this way. As humans, one of the unique features of, uh, of human evolution is that we evolved to be able to stand upright, okay? So whereas um, all other quadrupeds are on all fours and uh, their intention is kind of uh, horizontal, we evolved to a place where the gluteus maximus helped us stand upright to erect the spine and torso. So it, it changed, um, well, I mean, it changed several things, but the biggest thing is uh, gait became a, uh, was a result of this bioengin bioengineering over thousands of years. Anyways, I don't want to get into all the unique characteristics that came to be as, as humans, but the reason I'm interested in standing plank variations is whenever people are trying to get stronger, they're always concerned with working their planks on the ground. Uh, forearm plank, straight arm plank, one arm plank. You know, you, you name the plank and you see it done in the fitness industry. The problem with that is, besides the fact that you see a lot of uh, really poorly aligned planks in the gym setting, where you see excessive lumbar curvature, you see over-exaggerated over uh, uh, kyphotic upper back. Um, so anyways, how do these planks carry over to uh, human optimization? Like. I, I don't know about you, but I like to train according to my biology. So if I can improve the characteristics that uh, I have acquired through thousands of years of evolution, one of them being standing upright, uh, I'm more interested in that than I am, say, how long I can hold a straight arm push-up style plank. So the standing plank vari variation was... Um, kind of started being talked about by uh, Naughty Aguilar of Functional Patterns. And the more I started to practice it, employ it with my clients and then with myself, uh, it made a lot of sense. Like, each day I'm standing, each day I'm sitting, I'm walking, I'm running. Why not improve the biological characteristic that has taken thousands of years to evolve? Why not um, make it so that it's more efficient? Uh, especially in the 21st century, we're hunched over computers, all right? We're hunched over a steering wheel. Uh, we sit on the couch. We're just, we're, um, you know, we've gotten to what's called the, what I refer to as like the Bronze Age of, of mankind. Um, we're not playing anymore. We're not using our bodies the way that nature intended us to. So anyways, without me getting into it too much, I want to demonstrate the standing plank variation, something that you can easily uh, uh, do and perform at work, at home, with your trainer, at the gym. And the idea behind it is how can I uh, integrate my body? How can I make standing difficult? Okay, I'm going to be focusing on um, a posterior pelvic shift. Uh, I'm going to think about thoracic and ribcage extension. Uh, and then I'm also going to be thinking about uh, transverse abdominis activation. And the TVA, if you've seen my other video with the forearm plank, is going to be one of the uh, deeper and deepest abdominal muscles that we really want to unify with to help the psoas and the hip flexors to relax and release, which, um, you know, those muscle groups are constantly in a protection fight or flight mode. I'm not going to get into that too much here. I've already said more than intended. So, so anyways, um, I'm going to be thinking about that, um, that abdominal retraction, the posterior pelvic shift, and thoracic or ribcage extension during my standing plank. So you're going to go to the wall and start by just stepping your feet out a little bit and getting your spine against the wall. Okay, I'm going to pull my elbows back and uh, typically I'll see people shut their armpit. I want you to keep it open, okay? Um, Palms up, all right? So supination of the hands is going to help connect a, uh, a kinetic chain from my palm all the way to my scapula. So that's why we want to do that. Okay, I have vertical shins, and then I want you to find a place where you can flatten your spine the best you can without moving from the hips. 
Okay, so let yourself have a neutral pelvis. Start to drive your elbows into the wall. And take a couple of breaths. Now in terms of my feet, I'm thinking of pressing my heels down, apart, and out. And you'll start to feel a little bit of engagement at the lateral butt cheek. I'm working to retract my navel with every breath. Alright, now pulling your elbows into the wall, I want you to start to lean your spine forward. And whatever you do, don't stop pulling your elbows into the wall. You're going to feel a mid-back retraction and a mid-back engagement. Now if you feel like you're totally posteriorly tilting and tucking your tail under, I want you to anteriorly tilt a bit. But if you feel like you're dumping into your low back, I want you to posteriorly tilt. So again, you're looking for what's called like a neutral, uh, neutral pelvis. And this is it. I might lift my gaze a bit to encourage thoracic extension. start to take a rest. Okay, so as I'm creating the vacuum seal on my abdominals, paying attention to that navel and uh, stomach retraction, you're, you're actually going, like what you want to experience is a decompression of your low spine, as if your spine was kind of ringing out and getting a little bit taller. Um, and obviously there are an infinite amount of ways that you can uh, progress this movement and make it more challenging. Everything from utilization of distraction bands to doing it on something like BOSU. But, you know, uh, we walk on the ground as humans. Start with the basics, okay? Um, again, employ this idea that you're trying to, uh, you're trying to facilitate the intrinsic uh, muscles of your body so that the extrinsic, the superficial ones, can relax and shut off, okay? And this is going to help to create a, um, like a, an anti-gravity response on the joint system. And you'll start to feel your muscles uh, lift off of the joints. And it, it'll feel really, really good. Um, and that's, that's the idea with alignment-based training that I, that I use. Um, and that, that people like Nadi Aguilar and other trainers um, are using. It's like, how can I... Uh, create movement without creating inflammation at the joints, okay? And the standing plank variation is an awesome, awesome way to uh, take your planking to the next level. So, uh, so that's it. Yeah, I, I, I hope you use it and ask questions. It's always best to do this under the guidance of a, a coach or a trainer to make sure you're eliciting the proper response. But uh, thanks for watching. Give it a try. Thanks.